Hey guys, this past weekend I was actually in Chicago for Briar's Sweet Home Chicago celebration and I figured I would show off my very few but very nice purchases from the event. Quickly, in a nutshell, the Sweet Home Chicago event was one of Briar's yearly collector club events. It's open to 200 people. This one was open to collectors 18 years or older only. Basically, you kind of go around and do tours and fun stuff like that and at the end they have cool special run models to buy that are also limited so obviously i'm in massachusetts so i flew to chicago to attend this thing and at some point in o'hare i picked up a really nasty bug that has been making my life miserable for the past week which is why i look and sound halfway deceased so please bear with me <laughs> It was a lot of fun. I will say that there were a few aspects that could have been planned a little better, which is kind of the general consensus, and I did enjoy last year's Big Easy Batch more. But frankly, when you're putting up working in the Briar Factory and going into the archives versus a handful of real horse things as a model horse person, not a real horse person, obviously the factory gets a little bit of an extra nudge. I still had an awesome time. I do not regret going at all, and I got some really cool models, so let's just get on with it. So I'm just going to do these all in the order which we were given the models or bought or whatever. Friday, we signed in and we got the free stablemate, Belvedere, who is a cute little blue roan appy on the G4 paradressage mold. It's not my favorite mold, so this guy is actually already going to a new home, but he hasn't been shipped out yet, so I figured we'll just include him in there anyway. But very cute, very well done. Um, I'm just trying to get out of minis, and I already spent way too much money to get to this event. So I figured gotta recoup at least some of the costs. And then next on Saturday night we were given a little grab bag with a couple of models in it. And everyone got one of these black little bit thoroughbreds. No one really knows what they are. He could be just like a randomly painted up special run thing for the event. Some people think he's a leftover from the 90s. He is made of tenite versus styrene, which means that he's old plastic. So that kind of goes towards the leftover theory. So no one really knows what exactly he is, but he's cute and I don't have very many little bits, so he is welcome. And then everyone ended up with a stablemate keychain, a lot of which were from the early 2000s. I totally lucked out, and I ended up getting the orange G1 drafter from the 2003 Briarfest Mod Squad set, who I've actually been looking for for a really long time, which was nice. But he's kind of a cool, translucent orange, and very cute, and I love my G1 bubble butts. And then on Sunday was when we got to buy the special run models and get our event models, which are basically like Briarfest celebration models. They give one to each person, so 200 and all, and this is it. And oh my god, he is so pretty. When they first announced the event, I was like, eh, that sounds cool, but I probably won't enter because I really can't afford it. And then I saw the Mustang, and I was just like, damn it. So I put my name in, and I actually got drawn on the first try. So that's how this whole crazy thing started. He is called My Kind of Town. He is a Silver Bay on the old Mustang mold. I and many of the other attendees agreed that this was the nicest horse out of all of them, and he was the free one. <laughs> but he is just an awesomely shaded, dappled Silver Bay on the old Mustang mold. Just like, just look at that subtle dappling. He is just truly a sight to behold. The mane isn't too pearlescent, it's just right. He's just so yummy and so nice on such an awesome mold that they do not use enough anymore. And I friggin adore this horse. And last but not least, I'll have my two models that I purchased in the special run line. Basically operates the same way as Briarfest. Pick a number, number's drawn, whoever has that number goes first, and then you go through all 50. So I lucked out and I got 15th in line this year, which means I had full choice of all the models offered. Basically, when I was going into this event, I was thinking in the back of my mind, okay, if they do anything whatsoever related to Ferris Bueller's Day Off, I will throw money at them because it's one of my favorite movies ever. I'm one of those people that absolutely adores John Hughes's teenage dramedy high school movie type things. And sure enough, we had a little Appaloosa performance horse named Ferris. Obviously, I needed Ferris. It was really the only one that really struck out to me. That was kind of a good thing and a bad thing, but frankly, it meant that I wouldn't be disappointed if I didn't get anything. So Ferris was my number one pick, and turns out he was not very popular with everyone else. I love my Ferris, and he is so adorable. He's this awesome, bright, coppery, chestnut, uh, glossy Appaloosa performance horse, and his show name is Righteous Dude, because I couldn't do anything that wasn't Ferris Bueller's Day Off related. He's just, he's so cute. He's so perfect, and I don't understand why people didn't like him. That's the beauty of model horse collecting, we all have different tastes. 
And since I was far up enough in line to have a full selection from all the special run models, I kind of really argued with myself over what to get. Because again, Ferris was the only one that I really like wanted. So I ended up going with Burnham for my second one. She was the lowest run offered this year. She's a run of 50 on the head down make-a-wish mold with the wooshy tail from, and a nicely done dapple gray. I originally bought her to resell her. But the more I look at her, the more I like her. I don't even know anymore. But now she is staying. I didn't get anything in the leftover line. But if the right horse comes along in the future, she might go up for sale or trade or I don't know. But for now, she's staying with me. I do like Make-A-Wish a lot. I like her overall impression. This double shoulder kills me. I do prefer the um, the swishy tail because I think she has a lot of attitude that way. She, like all the other ones except for Belvedere, was painted in New Jersey and not in China. So she has really nicely done dapples. She does have that little crazy leg barring thing going on, but it's not too, too bad. Um, pretty face. I might bring her out in the show ring just for giggles, but I'm not expecting her to do much because she's wonky, but very pretty. So that's about it from Sweet Home Chicago. I'm gonna try to stay up to date on regular updates, but as you guys know, I just went back to school last week, which means I have a lot of work, which means that I do not have as much time for model horses, unfortunately. As much as I would like to play around with plastic ponies all day, school unfortunately does have to come first, along with work. So keep your eyes peeled. I will have more content coming soon, and thank you guys for watching.